because at the, very, uh, at the early of the universe, it's very highly interesting. Find the brightness you have to find important important. So the space based gravitational wave detection, special touch program are important. So we now, the worldwide uh, detections include the uh, ESA, the ESA, ELISA project, and uh, the cast target programs, and also the VBO project in state, and also the cycle project in Japan. So the target program actually proposed to detect the uh, uh, gravitation wave with frequencies covering from on the whole megahertz to one hertz. So that actually cover almost the same range of the uh, ELISA and the ELISA. But for the target program, we are supposed to focus on intermediate uh, dark or binaries. That means it's about 100 to uh, uh, 10,000 uh, uh, mass of the sun for black cross. So that means we should focus on the frequency about from the one to one hertz. So the proposal actually we want to actually focus on the intermediate mass we call the seed black hole or uh, uh, black, uh, black hole in the early universe. Then to understand that how is the seed black hole grows into a large or extreme, extreme large black hole. And what that might cause to form the black hole and also prefer the uh, polarization of the gravitational wave to understand the nature of gravity. So here is some preliminary mission proposed for tech program compared to the LISA, original LISA, and the e LISA. So the arm lands are about uh, uh, 3 million kilometers, and uh, the solutions, I think, we need to reach about uh, uh, picometer. And also, we have larger uh, telescopes. OK, here's a report from uh, Nature, so about Chinese gravitational wave detections, which actually will have uh, idea and also tension. So the Taiji uh, project uh, is actually similar to the uh, DESA, HELISA projectors. So the orbit is around the sun, so that we can avoid uh, uh, the noise and the signals <coughs> pollution from the Earth. And also it's needed you know, uh, the high thermal mechanical stability for the uh, million, uh, uh, one, one of the million. And also, we could obtain more accurate gravitational wide with wide low and media frequencies. So this is the uh, orbit we proposed to find uh, here the Earth about 20 degrees. These are elites that might be behind the Earth and then around the sun. And now, the tidal program with three satellites actually the six light beam uh, uh, sent from the, uh, uh, both ways between the, each of the, uh, uh, each pair of the spacecraft. Yeah? Then the difference is uh, uh, between the, uh, each pair of uh, spacecraft, uh, uh, the, the flight changes and uh, produce the environment, uh, interference between the transmitted and the received light beams. So because uh, 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 for three satellites uh, with uh, six, uh, six light beams, so actually we have uh, independent, like, like independent uh, three uh, experiments that, that can check each other. So the e, uh, LISA, original LISA is also six beams. E LISA is reduced to the two, uh, uh, two beams. But now they are actually so back to the original one because the, uh, after the gravitation work uh, technique was announced by LIGO, and also the NASA also fight to the uh, ESA to cooperate. So the uh, tidy program is proposed to launch around 2033. So this is our uh, preliminary roadmap. So the first phase is uh, from last year to, to, to 2020. Is our pre studies, both experiments and also theory, which included the concept and the designs, like the uh, design concept, the measurement schemes, and also the mission designs, and so on. And for science researchers, 
which are of course including the sources, sources of gravitational work, and uh, such a physical track force, and so on, but also for some the test for uh, general relativity and for the same nature of gravity as much more robust. The third part is actually cave technologies and the pilots, which include the light system, optical system, the fights, uh, five stock and measurement the telescopes and so on. The second phase we proposed uh, now is and discussed is about tight pipe fund. So that means that we're supposed to, to launch a tight fund around 2000, 2025 or 26 with two satellites to test the uh, uh, cruise uh, technology. And this pipe fund is only actually one satellite. So then uh, at the same time, we also started actually the ground-based uh, prototype protection wave detection. And then the third phase, we want to develop actually the engineering prototype and then the flight launch and eventually, we suppose, 2033 to launch ground-based wave detection. So at the moment, uh, we are organizing the tight alliance and more than 10 institutes in China, especially Chinese Academy of Science already to participate. And uh, because of gravitational wave detection is actually involve a carbon basics, astronomy, and cosmology, and also precision measurement, and so on, a lot of uh, field. Actually. So we are now open our alliance, actually, not both the national and the also international. So now we, we come to the nature of gravity, gravitational gauge field theory of gravitational quantum field theory. So we want to understand the gravity, how to combine gravity with the other three basic forces. For other three basic forces, you know, it is well described by the framework of quantum, quantum field theory, which is combination of spatial relativity and the quantum mechanics, and then plus symmetry principles that uh, means symmetry dedicators in the actions, one, two, three, four, or four basic uh, uh, actions, and symmetry brick actually generate our board, including the uh, genesis of the uh, mass. So now let, let's see the foundation on general uh, theory of relativity by Einstein, that's paid, non paid in the 1960s. Within the paper we have, uh, that's a West Brain. So it stated that uh, exercise you can always choose this uh, metric uh, determined to be one. So that means that then the Einstein equation in the vacuum become very simple. So one choose this one, this uh, spatial uh, framework. That means all the transformations have to be uh, uh, unit determined. So that means it lost the uh, uh, general coordinate invariance. If there's no general coordinate invariance, then that means the postulate of general relativity is lost. So, because the ISA field is uh, uh, general relativity based on the general coordinate transformation invariance. But what ISA says, uh, it says, it, says it, it will be erroneous to believe that this step that uh, indicates the uh, partial abandonment of the general postulate of general, uh, relativity. Because he said that we don't, uh, do not ask uh, what are the laws of nature which are covering the in place of all these transformations with determined by one. But he said he wants to know so what are the gen generally covering the laws of nature. So after that one, after this principle of postulate to establish the Einstein equation, and then to then to choose the special a frame to solve the heat equation. So actually, for that one, there's doubt what, what the gravitational wave is the real wave or instead that caused by the uh, coordinate transformation. So actually, uh, only up to the 1950s and the fine mark and bond, they eventually say the gravitational wave is the metal wave is the real wave. So then we see what is the limitation of answer general relativity and whether we can learn from the equation for relative quantum mechanics. But actually, so now one 
hence that we have the hair sequences, yeah? and we don't know quantum mechanics. Of course, we have no quantum field theories. And also, we don't know what is the basic constituent of the map. We only know the electron and the model of uh, uh, atoms. So the, the, in that case, the only way for Einstein is to generalize the spatial relativity to general relativity. That means from the global flat in Koska space time to the current and minus space time. And then he obtained his finite spaces. That means the geometry related to math. Okay, so from the uh, quantum mechanics, when Dirac is kind of the, the shading of non relative quantum mechanics to the right quantum mechanics. So what is important observation is that the scalar wave functions have to be uh, with the four component uh, 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 drag wave functions. So why four components? Because uh, we want to track the space time at the four dimensional space time equally, and then we need the four uh, degree of freedom. So that means the space time dimensions relate to the degree of freedom of map. So, and then we need we obtain the conservation of a contour angular momentum, not the orbital and spin separate conductor. Okay, the, the two components that describe the spin, two components for particle and any particle. So after that one, actually, uh, we uh, run the relative to quantum mechanics to relative to quantum field theory, and then to the standard model of particle physics. So we can see after Einstein, there's a lot of purposes, the QED, across the, uh, the framework of quantum field theory, and then the gauge theory, uh, the Yami theory, the charge of no conservation, the model for electron, Electroweak interactions, of course, for quantum thermodynamics. <coughs> also, the universe, we now the inflation of the universe, and we now the of mass and the universe, the quarks, lectons, like my back. So, after the one, we now repeat the, uh, the general relative of gravity, what we can learn. So, we, uh, uh, the question is can we describe the gravitational interaction within the framework of? of quantum field theory, and can we apply this theory of gravity, not based on Einstein's uh, 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 the principle of the later for general quantity transformation in gravity. So can we find out the laws of nature which are covered with transformations for which the determinant is used? OK, for that one, we need to go beyond the Einstein's uh, postulate. So actually, uh, a motivated from gate theories, so people actually proposed the gate, uh, gate theory of gravity, actually started from 1956 by uh, Uchiyama and uh, the cable, and now it's more than 60 years. But that's, the question is still there. So uh, what's, they're still based on the curve of space time. So then what is the definition of space and time, and uh, what is the quantization of gravity in gate theories, and also the basic structure like one of the dynamic properties of this uh, uh, graphic gate based on carbon space time. So then we actually uh, we develop a quantum field theory for gravity and based on the, only based on the gate switch without the uh, general quantum transformation variance. Okay. So, so this actually is a long paper. I just briefly summarize the, the points. The principle I actually we are based on uh, uh, gauge theories. So suppose uh, uh, gravity traced with uh, equal, uh, uh, equal with other three basic forces within the framework of quantum field theory, but in constant basic, uh, uh, in constant space time. So first, the basic constant of map assumed to be the drag uh, uh, the quantum field. And the kinematics of, of all quantum field, obvious principle of spatial relativity and the quantum mechanics. That means the framework of quantum physics. And also dynamics of all quantum field is characterized by the basic interactions which are governed by the gauge symmetry. And we know that uh, uh, the gauge symmetry group is determined uh, uh, from the intrinsic beliefs of freedom of 
for the election week uh, and uh, strong interactions, so which relate to ISO spin and color spin. So then what is the basic quantum related to the gravity? So actually, we, we now worry about the spin quantum numbers are actually only for the, uh, the uh, uh, quantum numbers of gravitational interactions. So now we check the spin quantum uh, numbers and the transit quantum number equally as well, ISO spin and, uh, and the color spin. Electric charge speed. Okay. okay, so then we suppose the actions of the theory should be environment and the local speed and the almost local uh, scaling uh, uh, gauge transformations. Okay. So then we appear that we we also assume that laws of nature should be independent of any choice of coordinates. So we hear the uh, uh, actions uh, in a no coordinate that we call the broad field uh, space time, not being based on the uh, uh, flat Minkowski space time. Mm -hmm. So eventually we get the, the actions as the global symmetries, the span color symmetry, and then we have local symmetries, mm -hmm. the one, two, three, four, the, the spin symmetries represent the uh, uh, gravity. And also we have global scaling signature and local scaling gate signatures. Okay, so for that one we need to introduce what uh, we call the by from space time. So when from uh, space time actually is globally flat according to the cost of space time, which act as uh, an initial frame to characterize the motion of the field. So we call the by space time. Another one, space time is actually a global uh, local flat no coordinate graph field space time. So, which functions are by interaction and uh, then characterize the degrees of freedom of field and uh, that actually in mathematics is like the fight. Well, in this uh, no coordinate graph field space time, we can see it is no computation. So, it is actually a great no computation job. So, <coughs> So in this case, the basic gravitational field actually is not a uh, metric field. So actually, it is it's a bicovariate vector field, which relates to the no coordinate and graph field space time and the global flat in constant space time. So that's what we call the graph field. Okay, so here then we build the actions based on the gauging variance and also coordinate independence. So that is actually in the no coordinate broad field space time. So, and then when we project this space, uh, no coordinate space time into the coordinate space time by using the bicovariate uh, factor field, the graph field, then we obtain the uh, background, so which is in the uh, Global flat and cosmic space time. Okay, so here we uh, for the uh, gravitational interactions characterized by this graph field uh, uh, with the uh, with the field strength like uh, gate interactions. So because it is in the uh, global flat and cosmic space time, we can we have this complex uh, environments which includes translation device. Then we can define the total angular, uh, total uh, mom, uh, energy momentum conservation. So that is actually ordinary interfaces. Okay, so we can work out this uh, 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 energy momentum tensors. But in general, that it is not symmetric. And then from that one, we, we can obtain the gravitational uh, equation of motion. <laughs> On this graph here, so related to energy momentum tension. So, which is actually conserved. And the, in general, it's the six, four times four to 16 equations. So, the symmetrical part actually is generalized the Einstein equations. Uh, the anti symmetrical part is the new one. Okay, from that one, so we just uh, uh, unified the, uh, the framework of the uh, uh, quantum field theory, gravity, and the other uh, three interactions. 
Now we are uh, according to these uh, uh, constructions and also formulated. We see how to unify all these interactions as a fundamental interactions. So first, I'd like to see still what we learn from the drug equations. So that taught us, as I already mentioned, the dimensions related to the degrees of freedom of the field, actually. And uh, so, so for example, for massless uh, Dirac values, so we have kerosene, we already found. So now we see what the kerosene is, is kerosene related to dimensions. So we first examine this massless Dirac values. So we really found, so there's uh, 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 symmetry, the kerosene symmetry right to two dimensions. So then we can build the, uh, the, for the Dirac uh, females as the maximum symmetry and the SO15 or the Pangar symmetry in six dimensions actually. And then in, on the other hand, we also found uh, so, uh, let me see. So in the six dimensions, Dirac values can be regarded as the Magellana females or we can be regarded as the Weyer females in the six dimensions. And then there's the enlarged uh, uh, the intrinsic symmetries SU2. So the subgroup of SU2 is electric charge U1 uh, uh, symmetry or electric, electric charge. So in general, we have this uh, in the six dimensions for massless dark fermions. So this is the gravitational one. Okay, so we can extend this uh, uh, gravitational equation in six dimensions for dark fermions. Or massless case. <coughs> so now we extend this one to <coughs> unify all these uh, element particles, quarks, lightning, into a single uh, hyperspinner. So we call it the unified field theory, hyperspace time. And we see how this each, all these spin like uh, charges unified as a uh, hyperspin charge and right to the high dimensions of uh, hyperspace time. So that is actually our. Uh, also, had all spin like charges uh, equivalent. So that actually included this both spin, heavy spin, carrier spin, iso spin, and car spin, and spin, so on. And then we uh, uh, express all this degree of freedom into a single column in the spin representation in high dimensional hyperspace time. And then, <coughs> so we show the as uh, covariant relation between the spin structure and uh, the dimensions of hyperspace times. And then we found the minimum uh, unified uh, uh, spin of field should be uh, Magellan type type spin of field. And then in the uh, uh, 18 dimension, uh, for a irreducible representation, we can extend it to the 19 dimensions. So then we have this uh, hyperspin group, so it's called SP118 in, in 19 dimensions. So that is for the free moving uh, all the elemental particles as a single particles. So we can write down the, uh, the self emission actions is for the free uh, high speed loss. So each generation unified into one uh, 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 high speed loss. Because we have to include the three generations, in general, we have this. Uh, Column of the spin representation. So this is explicit uh, uh, implementation of the uh, gamma matrix and the spin structures and so on. So now we want to include the interactions, so we have to uh, extend the global symmetries to the local symmetries, that I mean data symmetries. So actually why is the A's uh, in 90 dimensions? It's very simple because we already know the spin symmetry and this runs Quite unified, the minimum quite unified uh, as sort of a gap as a pair. So this is for families actually, and also for characters. Okay. And then we have to define actually discrete symmetries, the charge conservation of parity inversion, time reversal in the 90 dimension. So we cannot use the fourth dimension of the division for this charge conservation. So, so we have to, it's very simple. You see, the charge conservation is just a gamma matrix. For the given one, and for the uh, time reversal, it's just a gamma matrix 
all the smaller ones. The pirate is saying just gamma is gamma zero. Okay, then we obtain the general Dirac equation for the free moving that is high spinners. Okay. And then we get this uh, symmetries. We have the hype spin gate symmetries, and we introduce the uh, we call the hype spin gate. But then we want to pre uh, preserve both global symmetry, angular symmetry, and the local the hype spin symmetry. And we have to introduce a bicovariant effect field. That's what we call it is the gravity field. But then we can write on this from the uh, this free moving to have a gauge interactions. <coughs> And also, or we want to extend the global conformal symmetry to local scaling uh, uh, symmetry. So we have to introduce a scale. And then eventually, we got the maximum global and local symmetries of this unified field theory. It's a parameter symmetry and global scaling symmetry, and the high speed gate symmetry and the local <coughs> scaling symmetries. Okay, then we can, <coughs> then we can obtain the gravitation of generalized relative to quantum equations for this unified type spin of equations. Okay, especially okay for that one actually we will see some induced gate field from this gravity. And then for the uh, quadratic worms for these equations, we obtain like this one. So we see we have to introduce the field strength. This for the high spin gate uh, field strands. So this uh, this is the gate induced one, and this one actually from the graph field, uh, the bicovariant type field, like uh, uh, this field strands appears here. So that is gravitational interaction described by this field strands. So just from this. Uh, okay. So next we just want to uh, prove whether we want to prove is prove. We should build the axes in the low chord and the high, high space time. We call the graph field space time. Then we project the coordinate space time to the no coordinate space time. Projected by this graph, hypergraph field. And then this is in the no coordinate space. It's the hypergraph field space basis. So this basis we will show is no commutative. So the, the no commutative is characterized by the gravitational field structure. And this, so eventually, while we get the you know, there's no call and a hypergraph field space type, we can write down the interactions, the field strands. So then we can write on this uh, actions, which independent of the coordinates with only gating values. And then, <coughs> so this I just uh, related uh, uh, with this, this index, is, this ABC this index, it means the no correct no call and space time. So that's the scaling interaction. This is the gravitational interaction. This we introduce for a local scaling gate invariance is where gate field. So this for three part the gate interactions. Oh, we have to choose spatial tensor structure. So this one for the type spin gate interaction. This is for the high graph field interactions. That is because we want to obtain the general local conformal scaling gate. Okay, so first let us uh, project to the globally flat Minkowski space time. This capital M N is flat Minkowski space time. So we obtain this equivalent uh, Lagrange. So this for the, we can see this gravitational interaction given by the uh, field strength of the gravitational uh, graph, uh, graph field. So that actually we means we get this gauge graph correspondence and because gravitational interaction can by the uh, gate type interactions. So now we just uh, uh, we want we want to show that all these gate symmetries actually there's gravitational origins. Because high spin gate uh, uh, high spin gate field can be right on into two parts. One part is no homogeneous transformation, it's gate transformation. Another part is homogeneous. Uh, transformation. For a no homogeneous gate transformation, actually this one can be right on this way, given by the gravitational uh, field or gravitational field strength, this one. So after this one, so we can relate our Lagrange in 
into so this we just show how from this quadrilateral of the transformation and uh, to get the, the uh, high spin gauge transformation so that means all getting uh, a signature original from uh, uh, the, the, the gate the quadrilateral field gate field okay so then we can prove that one so this actually right to so this is this is a gate, uh, graph gate field, which is right given and to relate to, to the actual kind of connection, a bank connection from geometric uh, considerations. So now we want we want to show so from this uh, uh, globally flattening cosmic space time, we can obtain the background is in the hidden gate form. It's all only in the uh, uh, coordinate space time. It's all on the you can see this index is n angle t. So it's all this uh, for the coordinate space times. And in that case, we can show that the gate type gravitational interaction is now given by the rich scalars, okay? and rich scalar tensors. So that actually means we have this uh, gravity geometry correspondence. So eventually, now let us com uh, com compile these two Lagrangians. This in the global flat in cosmic space time. So this is totally in the hidden gate bombings in the uh, coordinate space time. And then this is gate type rotational interactions is now given so related to this uh, rich scales. So exactly actually from the degree of reason exactly corresponding so we have to make gate fix so that this gravitational field is symmetric. Is symmetric by the gate fix. Okay. So that actually uh, reveals the gravitational gate geometry divide. So we can use the gate index form, we can also use the geometry forms. Okay, so that's the last part, the conclusion of that. So what point is that so the laws of energy is independent of any choice of coordinates. So that's why we assume the gate inverse and the coordinate more general or fundamental than the general correlation of patients proposed by Einstein for the general activity. And then all gates which have gravitational origins, <coughs> that means we can require by the formulate the axes in the log, log the flat, no coordinate space, uh, no coordinate hypergraph field space time, and also in the globally flat coordinate in cosmic space time on the hidden gate form on this coordinate space time. So that actually corresponds, as I mentioned, it shows gravitational gate geometry theory. And also another part is that one. So all dimensions in this unified field theory has a physical origin, which is different from all other three-dimensional uh, theories. It also include the string theories or M theories. So that dimension is from the consistency of mathematics. So here all dimensions relate to the quantum numbers of quarks, light terms, and so on. So in general, then we can evaluate, make an evolution of uh, this space time uh, and also gate signatures to break into the standard models. OK, so finally, I just uh, summarize that part. The nature of gravity, so uh, in the Newton series, max space time are all independent. So in the special relativity, Space and time derived. And in the general relativity, space time also right to the map. And then gravity described by the carbon the minus space time dynamics. So in this gravitational uh, gate field theory of gravitational quantum field theory or the unified field theory, the space time itself is map because of the low card and the high graph field actually generate the dynamics. So Actually, the like all Lagrange, I have no time to say, all Lagrange in the hidden gate forms, in the coordinate forms, there is a hidden symmetry. The emerging symmetry is general coordinate transformation symmetry. Thanks. Okay, so now we have to you remind me about something that like NCOM did a uh, long level using a lot of geometry uh, as a language to uh, unify gravity and standard mode 
Okay. Is there any comparison or similarity between Alan Combs? Alan Combs. Yeah. What, what yeah. Is uh, using non-computing geometry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yes, there's some unified framework, symmetrical language, which you can uh, incorporate gravity and send a model. That, yeah, that's actually interesting. So we can show you no code and graph field space that is totally non computing. In general, maybe we can uh, think about to, you know, uh, direct from no code, uh, no computation direction. Otherwise, we have to treat high nonlinear dynamic rules or we can treat as no computation object. So we see, we will see which one is more uh, high. But uh, from the, uh, but from the, uh, 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 as I mentioned, if we work in the, uh, within framework of quantum theory, so we are familiar with treatment. That way, we have for, for the basic uh, uh, expansion calculation. But for non perturbative actually, in general, we are sure to consider non commutative job. That's why. Uh, yes, but uh, I am uh, because now, uh, if only with the non commutative ge geometry, I don't know what, uh, uh, <coughs> what they have discussed. So, as we see, we, at the beginning, we, you, we need to use gauge environments to construct the, the, the action and device. So that might be different from the, the no com commutative geometry. So, uh, in general, of course, we could advise on both gauge signature and uh, the uh, general quality transformation to be, uh, to be able to action. But that's more, I, I mean, that's more complicated. So, uh, so because we understand better about the uh, gate environments and the uh, gate impact. Yes, for for quantum, uh, yeah, for, for gate symmetry, we, I mean, we already understand about yeah, the conformal symmetry. Conformal symmetry is scaling conformal symmetry. That was important for to end, to start the universe to understand the inflation and back end. Because the inflation actually conformal scaling symmetry, the conformal symmetry actually from the amplitude is not from the phase. So that is for understand the universe equation. Yeah. So what is the mechanism for the symmetry breaking? Yeah, symmetry breaking here I didn't mention actually in another paper for I mean in six dimensional uh gravitational drag equation, I discussed that that's the new mechanism we call the geometric symmetry breaking mechanism. But before we have this spontaneous symmetry breaking Higgs particle, so here actually we could use the geometric uh, symmetry breaking mechanism. Well, you can understand the large hierarchy between the uh, gravity scale and the electric scale? Yeah, sure. So actually we already know uh, for each two dimensions there are a lot of discussions. So when the purpose is one to understand the hierarchy, so here I mentioned that we have a 90 dimensions. So actually, that's no difficult to understand the hierarchy problem. Okay, next. Uh, what is the status of your Taiji project uh, approved or in the process being approved or the proposal has been written? So the title program actually, at the moment we already uh, uh, got support from the uh, Chinese Academy of Science, we call a uh, strategic advanced project uh, for pre studies And uh, actually Chinese Academy of, of Science want to, as you know, support them more. But actually the government is interested. So they already organized the expert uh, to uh, present a proposal to government. So that is already uh, you know, accomplished, so we already sub submit our proposal to government. And, uh, uh, this, and now we want to propose our had the past fund uh, studies, which might uh, get supported from Chinese Academy of Science and also uh, other institutions. Uh, related to the satellite launches, uh, they 
哦，等下我是进去，呃，我这边哦，呃，呃，太多太多，不管其他。OK， next， 哎，不再是原来的昨天。